emotional and let's try to fix these issues because they do need to be fixed. There's a whole generation which which grew up in these issues and there are psychological effects that they are suffering from and they will never be normal human beings after seeing all that they have seen, be it Palestine or Kashmir. And then to say that they are terrorists, that is not fair with them. <coughs> Because you did not see what they saw. You did not <coughs> suffer what they had to suffer. You, you, the people in the West, have had secure lives. Do not judge a person whose parents are killed and murdered. And he has, he or she has to take it in a stride. But if he reacts, he or she reacts, they are terrorists. That is not fair. Bombs are going to explode. They are exploding. The world is not safe. I mean, if you were to compare before UN and after UN, it's the same black and white story that I told you. It's not safe. It's getting a little worse. It's because we are not very emotional. We used to be, but we, we, we're becoming too peace loving. So please, you the people over here, we might be a, a handful but if any one of you is touched by what the panelists said, and if you could go and share the story with just 10 people, you could create an, a ripple effect. Talk about in Twitter, cook a Twitter revolution. Remember it happened in Iran, but Iran, Iran outsmarted America. They always do that. No revolution, but Twitter did fix Egypt. Although it's become another question mark and we don't know what will happen in Egypt. We're, we have